Hi everyone, welcome back to English Chocolate. My name is Dr. Zung Tong. Let's talk about how to achieve a higher band score in IELTS writing task 2 today. So let's start with looking at the band descriptor. This is public information. Can you go everyone? So you can easily get this information. Task 2, writing band descriptors on public. Um, it can come from the British Council or IDP website. So if you look at the four criteria here, task response, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, and also the last one is grammar. Okay. Today I would like to focus on grammar only. Why? Because uh, within the video, this small video, I would like to focus on one thing at a time. And if you look at band seven, the grammar bit is about being able to use. Let me zoom in to show you. Being able to use a variety of complex structure. Okay. Whereas the next one is band six. Is to use a mix of simple and complex sentence forms. So clearly, everyone. The major difference in terms of grammar between band 6 or 7 is the ability to use more complex structures in your writing. The next question you may have is, so what is a complex sentence or complex structures? Um, it's very easy actually. Basically, you have more than uh, one simple structure in your sentence then that will become complex. So but if you can combine two simple uh, structures together, two simple sentences together, link them in one sentence, then you have a complex structure. One of the most common examples for a um, complex sentence is a compound sentence, okay? or relative clause, who, with, that, which, or conditional sentence, if, da 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 da. Okay? Explore more in the advanced grammar book and then you know incorporate them in your writing for task two you would have better score see you in future videos thanks for watching bye for now